How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is a warm December day, which is absolutely crazy. We're gonna go try doing some ice fishing. But before we go ice fishing, I got a pretty cool package that I gotta show you guys. You guys can see it right there. Lucas, Bailey, Robin, thank you guys so much for sending me over a care package all the way from Alaska. I have no idea what's in here. So we're gonna do a little unboxing and then we'll hop into the video after this, but I'm curious what's in here. So if you guys remember, I spent the entire summer in Alaska and I did all of my fish processing. So these guys right here over at Custom Seafoods and it was an absolute blast working with everybody. Pretty much everyone there just treated you like family and it just made the process of being Alaska awesome. So again, guys, if you guys go back to Alaska, um, you guys need to go through Custom Seafoods or if you guys need to order something for the upcoming Christmas season, you guys have to order something on their website. They're actually running a sale right now from now until 3 p.m. Alaska time on the 20th of December. If you guys order eight pounds of something or more, you guys get 30% off and free shipping. It is one heck of a deal and I had to let you guys know about this Christmas special because you know, obviously families get together and have a big meal. Well, what better way to eat some crabs at this meal or something fresh from Alaska? So make sure to check it out, but we're gonna open this up right now. I'm, I'm licking my lips right now. All right, the moment you guys have been waiting for. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We got some freezer packs. They're still frozen solid. Everything's nice and cold. Holy cow. No way. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, guys. Take a sniff of that. Well, if you guys could sniff through there, you'd smell. Yep. These smell like crabs. All right, I took the camera off the tripod so you can take a better look at the goodness inside this lovely box. Wow. That is a lot of crab. And more specifically, if you guys were curious, this is the Norton Sound Red King Crab. It looks so good. So the deal is with these crabs, they're gonna be a little bit smaller, but more tender and a sweeter flavor. And they're from a small like fishery in Norton Sound, Alaska, which is kind of cool. It's, it's, I don't know, I just thought I'd let you guys know the backstory of the food that you're gonna be eating. Um, you know, this is fresh stuff, guys. Literally came from Alaska, from Norton Sound, and I'm excited to test this out. I don't even know what to say, except I am so freaking thankful for the homies over at Custom Seafoods for giving me this awesome present. Uh, again, guys, if you guys are looking to get somebody a Christmas gift of food, of something fresh that's gonna mean something, or if you just want something for Christmas dinner, go check out Custom Seafoods. They have so much stuff on there besides crab. Obviously, I'm most excited about crab, but ah, oh, I don't know. They got something on there for all of you. And again, if you guys want your orders by Christmas, you need to order by 3 p.m. Alaska time on 1220, the 20th of December. And then you guys get 30% off when you order eight pounds or more with free shipping. This is one heck of a deal. I'm gonna leave the link in the description for you guys to go and check out. One last look at the lovely crab. Mm, my mouth's watering. All right, all right, all right, enough yapping. Let's get into today's video. All right, guys, we have finally made it out here. Please excuse the wind, but I forgot my ice cleats, so walking out here was an absolute train wreck. So, pro tip, bring your freaking ice cleats. Anyways, I just got my three iFish Pro set up, and I'm just gonna get right to it, all right? We're on a lake that has potential for really big fish, 
but it has not fished very well the last two years. So rest in peace. Hopefully these tip ups go off. I'm gonna get the jigging. Let's just get into it. All right, guys, we're gonna start jigging here. And today I'm gonna start out using my Vanna Black Frostbite Smoke Show. It's a 37 medium light, perfect for big fish. And you can still feel sensitive bites with the rod tip here. Okay, pretty sensitive. But I am gonna try not to hook myself. I'm gonna start out also using the old scissor kick from Frostbite. This is the quarter ounce. And they make smaller ones. I don't have any yet, but they're on the way. And once I get the smaller ones, I'll be using those. But for right now, we're gonna start out with this. Just tip up the middle head, fishing 18 feet of water. So pretty deep. Uh, we've had a big warm up. So if you guys are curious about ice conditions, you gotta be careful out there, all right? I think right now I got like four inches of ice, but there's a lot of water on top of the ice. So I gotta be pretty careful walking around here and just be mindful. But we're gonna start fishing here. Hopefully we can get on them. One thing that I do wanna throw in here is I am wearing the Eskimo Roughneck Ice Suit. This does have the uplift system. So if things were to go south, I would float. So it is nice, a peace of mind knowing that I have a nice suit here. If you guys are looking for pretty much anything ice fishing, check out the link in the description for Eskimo. Specifically, if you wanna get a nice suit for you or someone in your family or a friend, they got that really good good. Was feisty that was a feisty old son what do we got hey <laughs> look at that look at that look at that just One. look at that i can't pull it out either i'd have to drill it why can't you just look it at it yeah it's sad it's the only mark i, I mean just car. look at it you just wanted the old scissor kick so bad bud well there you go folks my first walleye of the year Everything was being super finicky down there, but then finally I got this guy to commit. I think there's smaller ones looking at me, and then this guy came out of nowhere and just hammered me right away. This one acted way different than the ones I was looking at originally, but first walleye of the year, we'll take it. Nothing too crazy, but I know there's bigger in here. All right, nice little walleye. We're not really keeping fish today, so we're gonna let him go. Came up hot. There he is. Small little guy. Oh, it's a perch. Look at that. We got ourselves a little perch. We're not going to be putting you on the wall, buddy. See ya. Getting a little bigger with the old birch. 
Maybe these are all perch down there. I don't know. Hmm. Little pH. No wall head. Come on though. I know the whale has are in there. Oh, the windmon. Oh, hey. What up, I fish pro? I fish pro. Is anything happening over here? Huh. Well, luckily it is off to the side. Let me get this GoPro right. All right, well, the iFish Pro is off to the side. And there's nothing. Hey, another iFish Pro. Should I, I'm gonna go check this one. I'll go check this one. All right, we had iFish Pro go off. Nothing there. I came back to get a minner. And I look over here. And another one went off. So, I'll do the responsible thing over here. Check this one. Oh, she's smooth. She is smooth. All right. Here we go, folks. Hey, we's on. I have so much line out, but we's on. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh, big old perch. Big old perch. Look at that. Not that big. I was kidding. It looked big under the ice, but it was not that big. What are you doing, buddy? Eating this megalodon of a freaking minnow? Huh? Why are you doing that? A lovely little perch. He's going to get him back in the water. Sorry about the wind. But, guys, I've been out here grinding. Probably three-ish three -ish hours or so. Maybe a little more than that. And it's just a dink fest. All right? I knew that was a possibility. The plan was to come here and try for a really big fish for you guys. And then if it wasn't gonna work out, I'm gonna go back to the lake that I filmed at in the previous video where I put that perch beat down on and I'm gonna toss the underwater camera down. So unfortunately, we did not get the big fish that I was hoping for this morning. But you know, on the plus note, I did catch a walleye, which is pretty cool. Broke that for the year. And now we're gonna go continue fishing and get some cool underwater footage for you guys. So. I'm gonna pack out, walk back this way, and I'll see you guys at lake number two for a little peach. Peach, wow, perch beat down. Not a peach beat down, that'd be weird. Alrighty folks, we have made it to lake number two. And the ice conditions, they're a lot worse than what they once were. Definitely a lot more wet and a lot more soft, so uh, I have no idea what this de December's doing, but it's not the best for ice making. It's been kind of weird. So again, be safe if you're, if you're gonna go venture out. However, I got everything set up, got the camera ready, and we're gonna start fishing here. Yep, as you guys can see, I got my Markham Pursuit HD all drilled, ready to go. I got two holes. I'm gonna jig out of this one and look at this screen and hopefully catch some fish i have no idea if this spot is going to produce we might have to move but we're going to give it like 20 minutes of fishing and if we don't see anything we'll skedaddle on over but stay tuned it's hopefully going to get perchy all right i'm not even set up yet i already have one looking at me i can't jig very high though i have no bait on it so i don't know if he's gonna bite Oh, what do you know? What do you freaking know? Micro, but we'll take them like that. Oh, God. 
this one. Oh god, you didn't have the whole thing. Come on, Sheila. Bite the wrong part. Bite the hook part. Hey, maybe I should put some meat on this. Oh god. Look at the shoulders on that one, dude. Okay, I wish I put... Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh, there's just perch everywhere, boys. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, is that a perch or a walleye? Holy crap. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where I am. There's one right there. Holy crap, there's so many down there. Boys, there are so many down there. Holy crap, we're gonna try to get right back down. Oh gosh. And this is with no bait. This is scary. If I had bait on, it'd be over. Oh gosh, come on. Come on, John, be smarter. Be smarter than the bait. like nipping the ends. Hey, it's a wall. Wait, it's a walleye. Look at the walleye. I want the walleye to come back. You can like barely see me. Oh god, this is this is getting intense, folks. Oh, did some did one of them have me? I can't even tell. There's one. Oh gosh, folks, folks, this is, this is scary. I want that walleye. That'd be so cool if I got one of them walleyes. Okay, we're going back down. Where am I? I don't even see me. Oh, there I am. Oh, this is, this is terrible footage, I'm sorry. As you can tell, I'm not prepared whatsoever. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Do I have one? No, I don't. Oh my god, dude. It's a frenzy down there. It is a frenzy. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Holy smokes. Oh, they're right here at the hole. Holy crap. They're right here at the hole right now. Oh golly. I don't know what's going on, folks. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep on going. There's so many. I can't even see my bait, dude. I'm gonna move the camera for you. Hey. Murking the scissor kick. Oh, they're murking the scissor kick without any bait on. Like, oh my gosh. What's going on? What's going on? I can't even see my bait. Oh, baby. Oh, do I have one? No. They are mucking it up so much down there, I can't, I can't even tell what's going on. Yeah, dude, they're literally making it so dirty down there. Get out of the way. Hey. I'm so sorry about this footage, folks. 
Oh. They're like, they're making it dirty down there. It's hard to see anything. God, these are these are some nice birds though. These are good eaters if we're keeping fish. Let me show you guys this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll take them like that. Look at that. Nice perch. What a good perch. Well, it seems as if we're getting a little break in the action, but that was fast and furious, folks. Uh, I have a terrible setup right now. The fish are making the water, like they're stirring up the sediment, so it's like hard to see stuff. So like, this is just like, this is just mayhem. I don't even know what to do, but I'm gonna let this kind of clear up a little bit. And I'm gonna go grab the Dragon Slayer and see if I can catch a couple on the Dragon Slayer. I'm really, oh, well, now they're back. Oh gosh. Well, I'm curious, I wanna catch one on the Dragon Slayer. But I might have to catch one of these guys real quick first. If he eats the right part. Oh, oh. Come on, scissor kick, do your thing. Dude, if I had bait, oh my gosh, we game over. Oh. Come on. There he is. Oh, oh, just a little guy. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna grab the other bait right now. And drop it down, the Dragon Slayer. Uh, evidently, the scissor kick works without any bait. Dude. The Dragon Slayer looks sexy down there. Oh my God, guys, that looks so sexy. Holy cow. Well, now that I'm ready, of course there's no fish here, but I got a feeling it won't take very long. Oh, yep, like there's one right there. Oh God. Oh, I missed him, that sucked, that was me. That was me being bad. Dude, look at the tail wobble on that. Oh my God, the tail wobble on that? Oh, he got off. The tail wobble is unreal on this thing, dude. Holy cow. Oh, here's one. Come on, buddy. Oh, this guy likes it. Oh, he just has a tail. That's a cool thing with the underwater camera. You can tell when they have the hook. Like, stop eating the tail, bro. No, you just eating the tail. He put stinger hooks on this thing. I suck. I suck. Oh, oh, that one came up and smoked her. That was a better one too. Oh yeah, it is a better one. Shoot, doggy. That was crazy. This is so much fun watching this on the camera. Drop a like for this video, boys. This is some pretty cool footage. We need another big big group of schools. I can't even talk. We need another school to come in because that first school was epic to watch. But I wanna watch it with the old Dragon Slayer. Oh, oh, they're back. Oh God, there's a school. That one just had the tail. Oh my 
my god. Dude, stop eating the tail. This is annoying. There's a mega school. Oh god. I, I can't even see my bait. Oh, there. Oh, I just ripped that guy's face off. Oh. Why they get scared? Now you're too small to go. No, no, you're, you're too small to go. Okay, I gotta catch this one, I guess. I was trying to let him, like, let go of it because he wasn't that big. Gotta get him off. Get back down there. Make sure the bait looks good. And go back down. Come on, baby. I'm sorry, guys. I wish this lake was a little more clear. And I wish it wasn't so windy because the audio is kind of cheeks, probably. But, oh, do we just have one there? Oh my god. Just ripped that guy's face off. This is fun though. This is a lot of fun. We're having fun. Lots of fun. Lots of birch fun. so murky down there I can't see anything no let go let go give me a good one give me a good one come on no you look small you look small no you got the tail let go let go let go let go Oh, I, I, I don't even know what's going on there. Oh my god. I can't see anything. Oh, I couldn't even tell you what's going on. Man, what the heck? Where's a jumbo? Let me catch a freaking jumbo. Go, sir. Dude, let go of the tail. Mess with these fish until I see a big one. Let go. Oh, I had to do that one, I suppose. Even though he's just a little baby, he demolished it. Last one, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I knew he didn't have it, but I decided to send it. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Last one. One of you guys. One, there we go. We're calling her good there, folks. Last one of the day. Oh, and it's a good one. It's a good one to end on, folks. Just look at that gorgeous perch eating that frostbite. Plastic right there. The dragon slayer, if it will. Focus, textbook, oh yeah, go get yourself some of these. These are some perch slaying machines. All right, cheers everybody. Oh, goodness gracious, we did it. We successfully caught some perch, caught a walleye today, got some underwater footage, 
didn't fall in, didn't die. We're gonna count today as two thumbs up. It's starting to get kinda nasty out here. I think there's a snowstorm coming in. So we're gonna pack up here and I'm gonna go home. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Drop a comment down below. Did you guys like the footage that I just got, the underwater stuff? Or was it just fun me catching some walleyes earlier today? I wanna do a big walleye video, but I, I haven't been on the walleyes. Honestly, I've been on the perch, but I haven't really been on the walleyes. I'm gonna work on it just for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.